Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amit Pet Technologies. So in this video, I am going to explain about how to display all elements of array. See generally, so suppose I am taking this array. If you want to access elements, if you want to display, first of all, we need to access the element. So how to access the element? So means ARR of 0 with their index, ARR of 1, ARR of 2, ARR of 3, ARR of 4. Like that we need to display. It's like a system dot out dot print ln ARR of 0, ARR of 1, ARR of 2. Like this we need to display and we don't know suppose what is the length. So how long, how many times we need to repeat that loop? I mean, how many times we need to, we need to write that SOP statements. So, it is not at all recommended to display elements of array using SOP statements. Then how to display? Simple. Indexing starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, total how many elements are there? 8 elements are there. Length is 8. So, repeat the loop from 0 to length minus 1 is nothing but 7. Here, repeating the loop for integer i equal to 0. Sir, I am taking that length first. Int n is equal to arr dot length. arr dot length. That is 8. But here, Repeat the loop not up to 8, n minus 1, up to 7 only you repeat, less than or equal to n minus 1, length minus 1, i plus plus, i plus plus, just repeat the loop, then print, system dot out dot print ln, arr of i is nothing but arr of 0, first what is that i value, 0, so arr of 0. Next, I value become 1, error of 1, I value become 2, error of 2. So, is keep on increasing the I value. So, each location value it is printing. Sir, I don't want to use N. So, directly you can use the for loop instead of writing this for integer I equals to 0, I less than or equal to in place of N, use this length directly arr dot length minus 1 i plus plus inside that printing that value arr of i is the same here it is arr dot length means 8 8 minus 1 7 but here that first we are collecting into one extra variable and minus 1 we are doing the same thing only so remember whenever you want to display all elements of array it is recommended to use the loop. So, why you choose for loop? Because we know the length. What is the starting point and what is the ending point we know. That's why we always use for loop to process the elements of array. Hope you understood guys. Thank you.